Hey guys, today I'm going to do a crock pot recipe that I came up with the other day. And the, the way I came up with this is I had some chicken in the fridge that I needed to cook. And about that time, my wife saw a chicken pot pie commercial on TV or something. So she's like, I'm in the mood for chicken pot pie. And I started thinking, you know, I bet you I could make something similar in the crock pot. So let's get crocking. All right, let's get started here. I have two cans of cream of chicken soup that are already in the pot. I'm going to add one can of water to that and also one tablespoon of onion powder. And um, let's see, I'm gonna add in a whole bag of baby carrots. So one pound of baby carrots and I cut up three red potatoes and I just cut them up. I left the peelings on because I like the peelings, plus it's easier that way. And this is eight bone, or not eight, four boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Um, this was about a pound and a half or a pound and three quarters of chicken. Now, if you prefer, you could use chicken breasts instead. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this all mixed up good. And I'm gonna cook this on high for about three hours. So if you cook it on low, it'd be probably five or six hours. And after three hours, then I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna add in a one pound bag of frozen mixed vegetables. The reason I'll put them in now is because the peas will get mushy if I cook them too long. And also, I'm gonna make some dumplings with that Bisquick mix. All I have to do is add some milk to that and it'll make like a dough and I'm gonna put those over the top. So those will take about an hour to cook, hour, hour and a half. So um, I'm gonna get the lid on here now and uh, we'll be back in about three hours and finish it up. All right, it's time to get the vegetables in there now. And I was looking at this bag I just realized that there's salt in these mixed vegetables. That's uh, one reason I don't like salting things until the very end, because sometimes things have salt that you didn't even realize had salt in them. All right, let me get my hand in there and mix those up. Now, no, I think I better use a spoon. Might not be too enjoyable for you or me to watch all the skin get burned off my hand. <laughs> So we'll use a spoon this time. Now we'll get our dumplings on top. I used one cup of this Bisquick dough. The last time I did this, I used two thirds of a cup and it didn't seem like quite enough. So I'm gonna use a full cup this time. Now I'm gonna make these pretty small because they cook faster. And um, also too, they swell up to like two or three times this size when they're cooked. So just put them in small like that. All the dumplings are in there. Now we'll just put the lid back on and let that cook for about another hour, hour and a half. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes since I put the dumplings in. So let's take a look here. Now see how much bigger they are, how much they've swelled up? Yeah, you can tell those are done. Put a little bit into a bowl and I'll show you guys how it looks. So there's how it looks when it's all done. To be honest, I didn't even know you could cook dumplings in a crock pot like that. It was my wife that told me that. So uh, this is really good like this. Like I said, chicken and dumplings. It's almost kind of like a chicken pot pie, but all I know is it's really good. I just added a little salt and pepper once I put it in the bowl, and to me, that was all the seasoning it needed. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.